Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Take my little friend away. I am done with him. Gracias. Get a pencil and write this down, Gomez. Ah, si. You are to seek out someone you can trust. Maybe best a woman. <laughs> she must make sure that he drinks this poison. And then I will have my revenge on him. <laughs> he will die. Unless he comes back to me begging and pleading for the antidote. Do you have any questions, Gomez? Uh, do you have a pencil? Duro, I just made your night. Yeah? Two tickets to the gun show. I'll pick you up around 8. We want to get there early so we don't miss the free shrapnel. It's really very nice. I can't go, though. I have two tickets to the opera. Oh. I'm sure you wouldn't be interested in anything that's not in English. That's not true. I love Stallone movies. Well, maybe the captain will buy the other ticket. Commissioner, we have a major breakthrough in the West Side Strangler case, sir. After eight years of intensive investigation, we finally have incriminating evidence that Wilson is the Strangler. We have a full set of his fingerprints on a donut, sir. And that's right, sir, believe it or not, on a donut. Yes, sir. Captain. Uh, uh, just a minute. Well, thank you, sir. But I think Rappaport and McCluskey deserve the credit. And then the man is done in by leaving his fingerprints on a cheap powdered donut. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right, sir. What is it, Hammer? No, nothing. apartment. You're breaking and entering. The door was open. Then you're entering. Look, my, my, my car broke down and, and I, I, I needed to use the phone. You're lying. There's a pay phone in the lobby. It's broken. I just need to make a quick call. Now I know you're lying. I've never heard a woman make a quick call. Look, I, 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 I just want to call my mom and, and tell her everything's all right. And there's one thing you can do for me. Anything you want? Leave 20 cents. Prano. Just making sure it's a local call. Uh, hello, Ma. Yeah. Uh, look, I, I had a little car trouble, but a very nice man, uh, let me use his phone. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be home as soon as I can. Bye. You want a donut? Help yourself. Thanks. Get a car phone. Now scram. Yeah. I think I came down with something. What? Poison. Hammer? I have the lab report. What is it, Doc? I can take it. There's no euphemistic way for me to say what I have to say. 
I'm sorry. But you're going to die. You have somehow ingested the venom from some exotic species of cobra. It's usually fatal within five days. Isn't there an antidote? Yes. Actually, there's a group of Trappist monks who maintain a monastery in the apex of the Andes Mountains who've developed a serum that's used as the antidote. Well, call them. Unfortunately, they've taken a vow of silence. You got five days. Isn't that enough time, Doc? Uh, sure. But you've been unconscious for the last four and a half days. So I got 12 hours left. No, 11 hours. Last night, daylight savings time started. All right, 11, Doctor. But you've been sleeping on the couch for the last two and a half hours. So that means you have eight and a half hours left. No, you have eight and a half hours left. You find that antidote. <sighs> doctor, I hope you don't take this personally. Oh. Don't you think we should get a second opinion? Mine is the ninth. Eight of us are in agreement. Then let's talk to the other guy. OK, but he thinks you should be dead already. Shh. Listen, you quack. You don't know me. I don't take this kind of stuff lying down. This is very common. Oh, yeah, this is very common. Yes, this is characteristic of the poison. Generally, he should be OK for the next eight hours and 25 minutes. Really? Yeah, now I hear your hammer swallows some poison. He's going to be dead in seven hours. Hey, Inspector Hammer, you know that 50 bucks I owe you? You'll get it on Monday. Hammer, we've wasted an hour already. If we try and compile a list of everyone who's ever threatened you, we'll be here all night. I'll be dead in the morning. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean it. Hammer, we have over 60 pages of threats here, and we're only up to the Fs. Let's go back to the turtle on the hand. Every time we get stuck, you go back to the turtle. I know, but it's got to mean something. Now, are you sure it was a turtle? Maybe you were hallucinating. Look, I'm telling you, it was a turtle. I've hallucinated a lot in my time, row. I've seen buzzards. I've seen piranhas. I've seen tarantulas. But I'm telling you, I have never seen a turtle. Where did you get that turtle on your hand? Well, we all wear them, Inspector. What we? Who? What? I'm a hyphenate, a cop and a mud wrestler. I'm one of the turtles. We're a tag team. Wait a minute. Is one of your members uh, 5'6", uh, 120 pounds, very long blonde hair? Oh, that sounds like Cindy. Well, how do we find Cindy? Quick! Quit stalling! Roger's Bar and Grill on Sutton Street. That's two minutes away. Great shortcut to row. Why'd you poison me, mud pack? 
I didn't try and poison you. Your friend said those were knockout drops. You're lying. I don't have any friends. It's the truth. The guy gave me $100 and a pass key and told me to go to apartment number 13 and put knockout drops... Wait a minute, wait a minute. I apartment 13. I live in apartment 12. Oh, Hammer, the poison wasn't for you. Oh, this is great. Now when I die, my neighbor's life will flash in front of my eyes. How could you make such a stupid mistake? Hey, don't yell at me. Yell at Dr. Dedon. Who's Dr. Dedon? He's the one that made me wear these stupid contact lenses. I am going back to class. Can you slow down? Look, I gotta get to my apartment. What do they have against my neighbor? What do they want from my neighbor? Why do they try to kill my neighbor? Who is my neighbor? Hammer, you gotta stop this. This is killing you. Oh, I did it again. Just come back to my place. I'll, I'll cook you a fantastic meal. Don't you mean last supper? Look, Hammer, I'm sorry. Let's just spend some time together. Just enjoying each other. No, Jerome. I'm on duty. I'm always on duty. I'm a cop. A cop with a perfect record. I'm gonna find out who poisoned me. And I got about five hours to do it in. Four. I'm sorry, your watch is broken. Oh, typical. That lifetime guarantee, too. All right. Poison. Why would they use poison? Who kills with poison? Kings. Kings and women. What king would want to poison my neighbor? Oh. The girl we hired gave the poison to the wrong man. We hired Gomez? All right, me. The girl my brother-in-law recommended gave the poison to the next door neighbor. Well, at least she was close. I promise, no more referrals, eh? full resumes. And from now on, the interviews will be conducted in person by me. Gomez, you failed. What? Alejandro, my double-crossing lover, still lives. Ah, uh, no, no, not exactly. I have something done to him. You didn't kill my lover? I, uh... Did you kill my lover? I, uh... Did you or did you not kill my lover? Oh, it depends on what you mean by kill. I hope, for your sake, that you at least have the statue. Um, maybe. What does maybe mean? I can live without Alejandro. I cannot live without the statue. I can get it for you. Absolutely, positively. You will. I will try. It's addressed to me. I can't believe it. He gets my mail, I get his poison. Hammer, there are bullet holes in the walls. Oh, those are for me. He would never turn down a stereo. Hammer, he's been shot! Well, I didn't do it. He's still breathing. I'm gonna call an ambulance. Where's the phone? Other room. Another dead end. Well, I'm not giving up. I'm gonna solve this case if it's the last thing I do. Hey, now you got me doing it. Vlad, God, am I glad to see you. I've been trying to reach you all day. Well, oh, no. Is that Alejandro? I don't know. Who's Alejandro? Next to you, my favorite tenant. Are you OK? You look awful. I'm fine. I'm fine, really. Forget it. Listen, what do you know about him? Not any more than any landlord would know. He's in the import-export business. He's weird, cute, and a good dancer. They're on their way. OK, listen, you, you said you were trying to get a hold of me, right? Why? A man broke into my apartment and stole my passkey. What, a passkey for all the apartments? Yes. Well, do you think you could identify him? Oh, well, maybe. I don't know. He was wearing a silk stocking. Where? On his face. Oh, well. Miss Hotchkiss, I need you to come downtown and look at some mug shots. OK. I'll take over from here, Hammer. Thanks, Darrell. 
He said thank you. He meant it. Doc, is there any progress? No. Thank you, Doc. Okay, I'm, I'm fine. No, no, I'm fine. Thank you. Now, here's what I want you to do, Miss Hotchkiss. I want you to go through these mug books. Now, when you find the man who stole your pass key, I am in business. So, just go one by one. Please, folks, let's stand back. That wouldn't be Mr. Ramirez, would it? Yes, yes, it was. Oh, that's too bad. I've got this package for him. Give that to me. I'm a police officer. That may be evidence. Folks, please, don't, don't uh, come any closer. Could you please keep going? There's just a couple of books left. Good, thank you. Take it easy, Hammer. We're gonna make it. We're gonna pull through this thing together. You will. You got the easy part. You know, Captain, I never thought I'd go out like this. I always thought I'd live to see a nuclear war. All right, you got 46 minutes left. That could still happen. Thank you, Kim. I want to talk to Dr. Mike. Sledge, I'm sorry. sorry. I just can't tell. I understand. I mean, the thief was wearing a stocking over his face, and I... Miss Hotchkiss, I want your pantyhose. What? Official business. Take off your stockings. Wow. That's an official request. Are you sure this is going to help? Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Now, put that over the mugshot. Oh, what a good idea. This will help a lot. It could be him. Great. <laughs> or it could be him. Oh. Ever. Or it could be him. Look what I've got. Oh, Darrow, you really shouldn't have. I won't be able to send you a thank you note. No, this came to Alejandro's apartment. He mailed it to himself. This could have been what they were looking for. That might be worth a lot of money. Oh, Darrow, this thing sells for $1.99. How do you know that? I give them away at Christmas. Hammer. It was heavily insured. Look, I'm telling you, this is worth nothing. Nothing. But look what's inside. That's the Feldheimer stone. We got a bulletin from Interpol last week. It's worth a million. Fred! I found him! Are you sure? Uh-huh. That's him. Ernesto Gomez. What do you got on Ernesto Gomez? 41 minutes to spare. Ernesto Gomez, merchant marine, itinerant seaman, over four years in the US Navy. Well, this is kind of a long shot, but I think we should head for the waterfront. Wait. Hey, what the... So, we finally meet, Gomez. Oh. Uh, you got 15 seconds to tell me everything you know. Uh, you give me the jewel and um, I tell you anything. No. I'll give you this. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, it was not my idea. It was my boss, Juanita. Her lover, Alejandro, he stole the Feldheimer stole. And he sealed it in a statue. To get the jewel back, she tried to poison him, and she got the wrong man. <laughs> but I don't want to tell you that. <laughs> you put a woman in charge of things and see what happens? Exactly. How do we find this Juanita? Uh, we sailed it on a cheap tram steamer, SS Mina. Uh, she's in the stern. All right, book him down. What? Hi, sailor. Who are you? How'd you get in here? Well, I can't find my way out of here. Maybe you can help me. We'll get a drink later. Sorry, sea urchin. I can't let this relationship go any farther. Now you cuff him, girl. And keep it quiet.
One more move and you're dead. So what? Five minutes ahead of schedule. Look, I'll make you a deal. You give me the antidote. I'll give you the Feldheimer Stone. Hurry up, I got five minutes. <laughs> the joke is on you. I gave you an ordinary rock. And I just gave you some more poison. You are completely untrustworthy. And it's a pity, because we would have made a fine cock. If I'm going, I'm taking you with me. this coming for a long time. Hammer. Hammer. I have the antidote. Oh. The doc came through. Oh. Not a moment too soon. Captain, how can I ever thank you? Don't drink it. Not, Commissioner. Rappaport and McCluskey have done it again. The West Side Strangler has left his fingerprints on yet another powdered donut. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I'll give him your congratulations. Captain? Captain? All right. My favorite. Mmm. Mmm. Emmer, I was just looking for you. What? 